In this video, we'll look at creating annotation on this drawing. Annotation can be used to communicate measurements, call out features, and provide information about your design. Text and dimensions are types of annotation. You control the appearance of annotation using styles. Expand the annotation panel to select or edit styles. This drawing contains three user-defined text styles in addition to the default styles. I'll select the custom style title for the text style. Next, I'll select the custom dimension style main for dimensions. After defining which styles to use, I'm ready to annotate my drawing. In the layers panel, I click the layer drop-down and set the text layer current. The mText command is used to create multi-line text. mText prompts you to specify two points in the drawing to determine the width of the multi-line text object. You can use the Text Editor tab to specify text formatting, or accept the defaults and start typing. After adding text, I return to the Layers drop-down and set the Dimension layer current. There are different types of dimensions I can create, such as Linear, Angular, or Radial. One way to dimension objects is to select the Dimension command Press Enter, and then select the object you want to dimension. This is an efficient way to dimension line or polyline segments. If I want more control over which points are used to create the dimension, I can use object snaps to specify start and end points in the drawing. To dimension the angle of the support, I'll select Angular. Next, I select the vertical and angular edge of the support, and click to place the dimension. Adding text and dimensions to your drawing finalizes your design.